Hi, Bob Martin here, Services United. We're an AO Smith dealer, and we're going to talk about water heaters today. There's a couple things that are going on in the industry. Uh, back in 2003, they had a new safety standard uh, for flammable vapors. So what they did was they started changing some things around, and they created what's called flame arresters. Uh, there were safeties that were to stop uh, the problem of if there was flammable vapor or flammable liquids spilt uh, underneath or near the water heater, uh, they could shut these, this system down. Uh, on the atmospheric water heater, which we have here, it does not have a, a vapor sensor. It has a thermal sensor. Um, so that way there's a sealed chamber and they have a thermal sensor so if the flame backs up where it doesn't vent, it will shut itself off. It is just a switch. It's a dry contacts. It opens. It opens the circuit and shuts the gas valve off. They are resettable. Uh, on the power vent, though, uh, we have a vapor sensor. Uh, the vapor sensor is not dry contacts. It's not a, a switch. What it does, it it produces um, ohms. Mo a lot of the safeties you deal with in commercial develop. They, they have uh, an ohms reading on the safeties, um, which uh, correlates to temperature. Uh, let's just say a, a duct sensor, for example. Uh, duct sensors uh, produce a certain amount of ohms, and then that goes into correlation with the temperatures. Well, they do it on vapor sensors. They produce a certain amount of ohms, and then it translates into something in the control. So the reason they do not put vapor sensors on atmospheric water heaters, but they do put them on the power venters because they have 120 volts uh, in the circuit, so therefore, that those, those ohms can get translated into something else. So let's st start by, um, uh, before you get started, you want to take your multimeter. Uh, you want to set it to ohms. We're looking in the range of between 5,000 to 70,000 70, ohms. Uh, you don't want to have it less than that, or you don't want to have it more than that. Uh, so we're going to set our our uh, meter at about 40k that should get us right in the range of where we should be now you may have to go up a little bit if it if it is higher um, that's where i like to start so we're going to go and we're going to show you how to test a vapor sensor uh, through the ohms um, this particular one it's if i look at the wiring diagram it's on the two orange wires so uh Right here is where the flames, the uh, vapor sensor is. It's on the side and it has a cover. And that's where the new ones are. Um, on the old style, you'll find that they're usually uh, mounted right by where the burner is here. Um, so they've moved these, I guess, for purposes of probably false readings. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this back on. We pulled off the Molex. Now, you don't want to stick your probes from your meters inside these uh, connections because you will damage them. So what I did was I took two pieces of uh, thermostat wire and I'm going to put it right in the hole here. A little difficult but not too bad. And uh, get, get both on the two orange wire connections so I can take my ohms reading. Now I'm going to take my two uh, probes and I'm going to touch each one of those and as you can see I'm right about 25,000 ohms which if we're talking about the range that we need it's between 5 and 70,000 ohms uh, so we're in good shape where this this obviously it's a brand new one we know that it's good uh, but we want to make sure that we're not uh, we're not getting that higher or lower reading uh, if we are you cannot jump those out um, this is one of the things that it's a safety and you do not want to jump it out. Uh, you have to call the manufacturer and you have to get another vapor sensor. Now we talked about the thermal um, safety on the atmospheric water heaters and they are resettable. Doesn't mean you reset them and forget them. Uh, there's obviously a problem if you... Now that, again, that's a switch. Uh, if you pull it off and you check, you'll get continuity. Uh, it reads the continuity and then sends up to the uh, control and allows it to uh, turn on. All right, I uh, just wanted to let you guys know this is very important. Water heaters have changed a lot. New technology and the new safety standards uh, are very important to uh, protect the consumer for flammable 
uh, vapors when it comes to uh, now just because it's not a flammable vapor if it's water it's still going to be sensed as a moisture and it will uh, cut this particular product off so just be careful if you have a moist basement uh, you're going to have to check that safety thank you